स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया Smart India Hackathon is a platform that encourages students to solve real world problems through innovative technological solutions. Handling problem statements in the Smart India Hackathon involves a structured approach to understand, analyze and propose viable solutions. Today we are going to meet a past winner of SIH who will advise us on one of the problem statements of SIH 2023. The problem statement that we have chosen today to discuss is SIH 1392 which is e-waste facility locator and we have with us rudrakshi soni to discuss it welcome to the show rudrakshi uh, yeah uh, thanks for yeah. thanks for inviting me right rudrakshi so please uh, let us know uh, something about you introduce yourself and uh, let our viewers know who exactly you are what do you do and what are you doing right now uh, so i was the uh, uh, btech student uh, and passed out from the jss academy of technical and education I was also the past Smart India Hackathon 2022 winner and also the winner of UNESCO India Africa Hackathon. So I am currently working as a software developer at Morgan Stanley. Okay, to discuss uh, this problem statement, you've chosen one three nine two. So any particular reason for you to choose this particular uh, PS to discuss with us today? Ah uh, yeah, so this problem statement basically deals with the e waste or the e electronic waste. so basically if we are going to throw out our gadgets like mm -hmm. mobile or laptops anywhere so it causes a big issue for the environment so proper disposal of these type of gadgets needs to be done just to basically uh, uh, keep our uh, environment safe from different types of consequences right that's a pretty valid thought and i think everybody should think in those terms that uh, you just said so now coming to the problem statement itself So the question here is, if you were to handle this PS this time around, how will you go ahead and do it? So let's begin with the team. I mean, how do you form a team? What kind of people do you think are best suited to team up for this particular thing? So basically, forming a team requires the different skill sets uh, to build a project. So first, analyze that what project or what uh, whatever the problem statement that you have chosen is asking or demanding the technologies. So based upon that, make sure your team. should have the variety of skill sets so like you should have a back end front end and ml engineer based upon the need of the problem statement and also the bonding of the all the member is also required which basically act as an edge over the other teams okay so uh, as an example who all will be your team members if you were to make a team in terms of you know their proficiency so basically like most of the members from uh, my team are from my uh, like college and they are from the same year like except one of the guy who is uh, my junior but i basically chosen him over the other because he is basically uh, like uh, most uh, the best front end developer of that uh, year so like in my team we have the variety of skill sets like we were working on the project which needs the um like android application something so basically i took the uh, front end developers who are uh, proficient in react native and for the back end i choose one uh, and two back end developers and i also like uh, include one person who is uh, best in the ui ux design so like it can basically conclude uh, all the uh, members from uh, different uh, diverse skill sets okay so what kind of research do you think this particular ps requires what all the avenues can you you know approach to get give inf get information or anything which is you know suitable to you know help you solve this uh, so basically like this problem statement is uh, more dedicated to the environmental issues so first you need to research about what are the types of devices that we can dispose of and what are the elements that it, that uh, devices contains and what are the harmful things it causes to the environment so you can like go through various uh, different uh, sites which are basically giving the information regarding that or you can also visit to the ministry of environmental site which consists of these type of issues so gathering all this information help us to frame the solution and as a part of your plan what is the next step after gathering information uh, doing a bit of a research jump into the solution directly like first understand the problem and break and break down it into the key components that 
what are the main feature what are the main uh, thing it is demanding like here in this problem statement it basically uh, asking to build a website so that website uh, is divided into the three major key components the first one is the uh, re uh, recycling of these type of waste and locating all the e waste center uh, nearby to the particular user or a particular person so the first thing is we need to like make sure that you have all the details of all the locations then ap apart from that it demands the educational pop ups to just uh, make the awareness among the people so make sure your website consisting of these type of information these type of uh, a newsletter or kind of things or something notification to, uh, should be sent to particular user which basically educate them how to proper dispose all these type of devices the third one that uh, i find out it requires a um, business model to basically provide the credit points to encourage the users to dispose these type of devices particularly and how to handle these kind of waste so these uh, credit models or the credit points can be used uh, by the user to redeem various kind of offers and something so these are the main key core concepts of the problem statement that you need to first understand so rudrakshi according to you what could be the challenges in you know creating this kind of an application what all do you think can be you know uh, tough points to deal with uh the one of the toughest points that i am thinking is related to the data set because from where we need to gather all these type of data because it consists of huge data about the devices about the location and all so you need to basically research about these kind of things very much that from where you are going to gathering these all data also maybe uh, you can able to face some issues while uh, redeeming the credit points so it can be in the form of money or it can be in the like in the form of offers where you can able to like um, uh, like encourage other uh, uh, like various startups and various company to invest invest and basically give the promotional offer so there can be a bridge that you need to fulfill between those okay so uh, this is about the you know uh, difficult part what what do you think is the easiest part of this which we should be you know not afraid of and we should be happy okay this is to be done and we can do it like this so like for the uh, locate locations like to pointing out the nearby uh, location like there are lots of uh, apis like google A map api it is like uh, very much used for the like locating everything uh, to a particular area so that can be done easily the educational pop up thing is also a very easy thing because uh, once you gather the information it's just easy to just send the notification to that particular person so the notification part can be done easily there are very various kind of notification you can send you can send the voice notification you can send normal sms you can even send the whatsapp sms uh, messages or something like that great so now you we have kind of a good breakdown of you know easy part and not so easy part with us now uh, please share with us the breakdown in terms of planning like obviously i mean when you reach the hackathon venue Uh, you are already done with a certain amount of work so what is the kind of work and uh, the quantum of work that will already be done before you reach the venue and what all would you be doing there at the venue while the hackathon is on yeah so basically like uh, before reaching to the finals uh, you should be done with your main core features because these are the thing that on which you are basically going to judge on that make sure you have your strong mvp it's the uh, like the minimum viable product that you need to make uh, rather than just adding different different uh, additional feature into it yeah ad adding additional feature will give you an edge but first make sure you are done with your mvp so once you are done with your mvp just try to enhance those features make it properly so that it will reflect that what you have done according to the problem statement that it demands and just try to think upon what additional thing you can add over that or make sure you have your if you can't even if you can't able to add those feature make sure you have the future plan that how to incorporate those feature to enhance your uh, product good those are some very fair points so tell me one more thing uh, when you are in the you know finale i mean going over those 36 hours then mentors chip in the evaluators chip in then there is a certain demand of you know either to alter something or you know add something or something which is not liked by them or uh, processed by them in a very positive manner so how do you adapt to that 
while the hackathon is on yeah so we also got some good comments or some negative comments regarding our project to like uh, make our feature more uh, executable so like we worked on the team we think about we research more about that particular thing that what the uh, person is going to be demand don't think just that you are building just a solution to win a hackathon think about you are building a product that is going to be used by thousands of people and you are helping uh, those people to make a difference in the nation so if you are going to think your problem statement in that way you can able to gather and think in more particular way rather than just building a like thing just to win a hackathon so like we got some comments like regarding our product that it can it contains more or less all the feature that is already present in the existing products so we need to do something more about it like thinking out of the box so that it will look differently with that already existing products so like we research more about it like how we can add that thing one of the biggest problem that we are going to face with the data set because if you are going to add that features we are not getting the data but you can use some dummy data as well in that part once you get the data or the support from the ministry for that data you can able to incorporate that particular feature but but, but still just try to add that feature just to show them that this can happen if we going to get the data so just try to mock your database or use the dummy data at that point those are some very valid and very fair points rudraji now to wrap it up uh, please give one single piece of advice to the people participating this time around and even the, in the future on how to go about solving such type of uh, you know problem statements uh, single piece of advice or any tips or tricks that come to your mind which you would want to share yeah so like first thing that i always always wants to say to everyone that make sure you plan and prioritize your work don't just want to basically build everything whatever comes to your mind make sure you have your divide your features into the main features that should that must be incorporated in your product and some another set of feature that can be or may not be uh, like uh, uh, basically incorporated in your uh, product but they can be an additional edge over it so first make sure you will uh, plan and uh, distribute all the work Uh, accordingly the skill set of the uh, team members and work upon that and just try to build a product not just a solution for an hackathon that's uh, very well summed up uh, rudrakshi and very well put up so i'm sure people will benefit out of your thoughts and you presented a very uh, holistic uh, picture of the this problem statement not only the problem statement but the competition as a whole so uh, hats off to you and thank you so much for joining us to share your thoughts and views and uh, i hope people will benefit and they will you know make the most of it thank you so much for uh, joining us today rudrakshi thank you so much yeah thank you thanks everyone effective communication and a well thought out solution are key elements in successfully addressing problem statements in smart india hackathon hope you will all deal with the problem statements thoughtfully good luck